Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well today. I hope you all had an excellent candle day. It was epic. Bath & Body Works has done an amazing job this year giving us beautiful labels and packaging, great scents, and excellent theming. And I went totally in this year. Not that I don't do that every year, but why not? At $8.95 a candle with 13 off 40 and 20% off coupon, as my grandma says, you can't beat that. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Leanne, an avid candle lover. If you're returning to my channel, thank you so much for all of your continued support. Let me know in the comments below what candles you picked up for candle day. Did you go all in like I did or did you have a bit more reserve? I am filming this video in two separate parts and I'm actually re-filming this intro. Part one will be the winter collections that were already in store prior to candle day. And part two are the candles that were released specifically for candle day, duplicates that wouldn't fit into my tower properly, and random finds. As with all of my hauls, I will show you the candles up close and share my thoughts. I'm going to try to keep my thoughts on the returning scents quick and concise and give a bit more detail about the new scents. Needless to say though, this will be a longer video, so grab a snack and something to drink. And if you're interested in seeing my haul and hearing my thoughts, let's get started. Let's take a moment to just scan up this beautiful tower of candles. The labels this year are absolutely fantastic. Bath & Body Works has done such an amazing job this year on the labels. They have 100% redeemed themselves from last year's quotable catastrophe, in my opinion. I really love every collection. They have just done an amazing job. And look at that tower. Don't mind the fall decorations still behind you. I have not quite shifted out into Christmas and holidays decorations yet. Okie dokie, I dismantled the tower just a little bit so I could feel a bit safer that I'm not gonna have a candle catastrophe here. That would be horrible if all these candles came crashing down around me. The first candle I wanna show you is Winter. Apologies for the glare. Winter, of course, is a classic, quintessential winter scent. It is winter in a jar, essentially. I really love the photo labels this year. This tree scene really just takes you exactly to winter. And these have these nice wood grain lids on them. The notes are made with fir needle and orange essential oils with notes of clove and citrus. You get the fir needles, the woods notes, but there's a crispness and a coolness to this as well that really does make you think that you're walking in the forest with snow on the ground and that cold, brisk air around you. I love it. I love this collection here. It also goes with these other sweater candles right there, which I just think they are all so cute. These all have these really cute snowflake lids. It looks like a cross stitch pattern and it matches that sort of sweater aesthetic perfectly. This scent is white mint latte. This was out last year as well. This one is fresh peppermint, white chocolate, and whipped milk. And it does have a coffee note in it. It is very subtle. It is not overpowering. But especially if you compare this scent to like peppermint brownie or peppermint marshmallow, that subtle latte coffee note does come out. This one is amazing. It really does kind of smell like a peppermint spice latte from Starbucks. Just kind of dial down the coffee notes. You get the peppermint. You get that creamy white chocolate note. It is fabulous. Really enjoyed this one last year year and happy they brought it back again. The next candle I have to share with you is Frosted Cake Pop. A friend of mine picked up some candles for me at a test store. So this one did not pass test in the three wick, but so I am happy to have it in this form. Frosted Cake Pop is buttercream icing, warm vanilla, and juicy cherries. If you were to take Bath & Body Works Frosted Vanilla Cupcake Candle and you took a kind of cherry syrup, think sort of like a candied cherry note. Not cough medicine cherry, but a very sweet, almost like a cherry hard candy kind of note and you mix it with that vanilla cupcake, that's what you get here. So it then comes across as this cherry tinged cupcake. It actually smells really nice on cold. The cherry is not super dominant. It's definitely there. You pick it up and it is blended really nicely, at least on cold snip with the frosting and the cupcake cake notes themselves. The next one I have to share with you is orange chocolate truffle. I the notes are orange zest, sea salt, and rich dark chocolate. And this to me, I was really excited about. I love chocolate and orange. I think they pair beautifully together. Together. It's a tradition that I always do a Terry's chocolate orange at Christmas. They are wrapped in foil and you bang them and they come out in these perfect little slices. And that is what this candle reminds me of. It reminds me of a Terry's chocolate orange. 
Now I'm sure if you smelled an actual Terry's chocolate orange and you smelled them side by side, there's gonna be differences, but this is the essence of a Terry's chocolate orange. What I love about this one is that the chocolate and orange are balanced very well. The chocolate doesn't dominate, the orange doesn't dominate, and the chocolate's not an artificial chocolate. It's definitely more toward that hot cocoa and cream where it seems very realistic. And the orange does come across a bit as an orange extract mixed with an actual orange juice and I think it's fantastic. I love the fact that they've branched out and done something completely different that we've never seen before, and I love it. I cannot wait to burn this one very soon. And the last one I have in that collection is Spiced Gingerbread. Again, I have to take a moment, look at this label. Oh my gosh, I think it's just adorable. I love gingerbread anything. I'm really happy to see more gingerbread in the collections this year. The notes of Spiced Gingerbread are vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. This scent has been out before. I think it was two years ago. This one smells like a spice gingerbread. Definitely a lot more spice in this one than I would sort of typically associate with the gingerbread scent. It's not super heavy on the cinnamon, but if you are someone who's sensitive to cinnamon, you may not like this one. It does come across also more of a like either thick cakey gingerbread cookie or the actual gingerbread itself. I really, really like this one. And if you like a bit of a spicy, gingery, bakery kind of note, and you've been looking for a gingerbread scent, I think this one is a really good one. The next collection I have is this collection here that came out for Black Friday. And oh my goodness, I love this collection so much. I'm going to say that the labels on these are my favorite of the season thus far. And that's saying a lot because these labels across the board are just so doggone cute and fantastic. This collection has these Christmas tree lids, which I think are really cute. And look at this label, y'all. Look at that. It has this matte finish, but then you'll ha it has these little chrome details throughout, and it is just so well done. It actually like tells a story. It paints a scene. This is Vanilla Snowflake, and you see the little snowflakes falling, and it does remind you of like going to pick out your Christmas tree, and the snow was falling, and just sort of that overall scene they painted with this label is fantastic. Whoever made these labels at Bath & Body Works, super kudos to you. I hope you get a bonus because these are beautiful. The notes of vanilla snowflake are frozen vanilla, ice fir needles, mint leaf, and coconut flakes. This is a returning scent and I was really happy to have it back this year. For me this is one that I love to burn December and even into January. It is a really really nice vanilla scent. Don't be turned off by the coconut leaves. It's definitely not summery at all. It's just a very very subtle hint of almost like a toasted coconut. It is very very subtle. You don't really even smell it in and of itself but when you do smell this there is something special about this vanilla scent. It is definitely a scent that I just want to sniff over and over and over, even in the jar on cold sniff, and I love it so much. So really happy to have this one back. If you like your vanilla scents and looking for something a little bit different, this kind of that has a little bit of extra specialness, I recommend this one. It's fantastic. I also picked up two Tis the Seasons in this packaging. Again, I just want to take a moment to really let you see this packaging. Look at this label decorating the Christmas tree. There's like wrapping on the floor and the gingerbread house. Again, the way they're telling the story with this is perfect. Tis the Season is my all-time favorite holiday scent. Hands down, it is just Christmas in a jar. It's the holidays in a jar. I open it and it instantly transports me to this scene. Sitting in front of the Christmas tree, wrapping presents, doing all the different things that you do for Christmas that make it so special. Spending time with families, I absolutely love it. The next one I have in that collection is Butter Rum Eggnog. Look at the label. I love it. The little eggnog glasses there. You're sitting in front of the fire with the stockings hung. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. The scent notes of butter rum eggnog are spiced eggnog, vanilla bourbon, rich buttercream, and shaved nutmeg. This smells exactly like eggnog. Creamy, milky, the perfect amount of nutmeg, just a little bit of a rum, kind of gives it this warmth. It's not overpowering though. It's not super boozy. It is fantastic. If you like an eggnog scent and you've been looking for an authentic one, this is the one to pick up. This scent did come out last year in the quotable candles and I think it was like Dear Santa, I blame the eggnog or something like that. So super happy to have this sent back and this gorgeous label. The last candle in that particular collection I have is hot cocoa and cream. Look at that perfect little cup of coffee. And it's not really probably coming through on the camera, but you can see the little bit of glitter there. Like it has this matte overall look to it, but then it has these little chrome accents here. And just as like a 3D effect, when you rub it, you can feel the texture. How perfect. And you see the little present is chrome. I love it so much. And then with the Christmas tree, I mean, if that doesn't instantly transport you to sitting in front of your fireplace with a hot cup of cocoa, waiting on Santa to come, I don't know what does. It's perfect. Hot yeah. cocoa and cream, of course, 
course, is a returning favorite. It is decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. This is the most authentic hot cocoa chocolate scent that I've ever smelled. It smells legitimately like a cup of hot cocoa, and you do get that creamy marshmallow vibe as well. It is also super, super strong and a great burner. Love this scent, as do obviously a lot of other people because they do bring it back quite a lot. So really happy to have it back in this super cute label. Love it. The next collection I have to show you is the New York Scenes. So each label has a specific scene from New York City. Really, really well done. This collection has a snowflake lid that looks like this. I love the labels on this as well. The sort of holographic, glittery details. It also has a 3D textured feel to it when you rub it. I just think it's so well done. This looks like Central Park. In winter, it is so pretty. This scent is Sweater Weather, another classic scent. The notes are made with sage and eucalyptus essential oils with notes of juniper berry and fresh wood. This is a fresh, invigorating scent that is perfect for cold weather. For me, I love to burn this late fall and all throughout winter. It is just a classic, invigorating, cooling, and fresh, and I love it. The next thing I have in that collection is Arctic Berry. Again, look at the label, the little like hot holographic-y looking glittery river on the bridge. Arctic Berry is a new scent and it says made with balsam and orange essential oils with notes of frozen red berries and musk. There is a hand soap and lotion that have this same scent. That doesn't smell exactly like the hand soap, but it's as close as probably they could get. Really for me, this one is not super exciting. It is a sweet berry blend. You do pick up some of the woods notes, but it's mostly sweet berries. If you like the hand soap and the hand cream, I think you'd really like this one. For me, this is also not necessarily a winter scent. I think I would prefer to burn this in like spring. But if you like your berry scents, your fruity scents, then I think you would like this one. The next scent I have here is Champagne Toast. Again, the label is perfection. I love it. Champagne Toast is of course also a classic scent. It says made with citrus and orange essential oils with notes of bubbly champagne and sparkling berries. This is my New Year's Eve, New Year's Day scent. It's absolutely perfect perfect. You get this evanescent sort of sparkling aspect to this. You get the berries. It doesn't really smell like authentic champagne. It's not as astringent as the champagne actually is. It's definitely a sweeter scent. It doesn't actually have a true kind of fizziness to it, but there is a bit of an evanescent note that I pick up that I really enjoy. And again, perfect for New Year's Eve. Classic and I love it. The next one I have in this collection is Peppermint Marshmallow. I think that is the Rockefeller Center Tree. And the little squirrels are cute. Love it. Peppermint Marshmallow says, made with peppermint and spearmint essential oils with notes of powdered sugar and marshmallow. This scent has come back year after year. It is such a good one. Pillowy, fluffy marshmallow, like lace with peppermint oil is essentially what this smells like. There's this particular brand of marshmallow that I've fallen in love with. I think it's called like Smash Mellow or something like that. And they have like homemade, big, thick, fluffy, puffy marshmallows. And they have a peppermint one. And it this smells exactly like those. You just feel like you could take a bite of of this wax. It smells so good. Another one that is a returning favorite. And the last one I have in that collection is Cherry Frost. This is just that perfect New York City doorstep. It definitely reminds me of like Sex in the City. Cherry Frost is made with orange and juniper essential oils with notes of white cherry and ginger. This one is not my particular favorite either. Um, I thought it was going to be like maybe Black Cherry Merlot or Cherry Snow Cone, but it's definitely not either one of those. It smells more similar to Black Cherry Merlot, but not as like cough syrupy. This one actually kind of smells like, like a cherry cough drop. And I think there's that little brand called called Ludens that actually kind of tastes like candy because it was not super medicinal. It definitely has a candied aspect to it, but there is something that reminds me of those sweet cough drops or like a sweet cherry candy. If you're one that likes black cherry Merlot and you like a sweet cherry candied kind of scent, then I think you really like this one. The next collection I have to share with you is this sweater pattern collection. And oh my gosh, are these not absolutely adorable? They're full wraparound labels. I mean, you just see the detail of like the sweater pattern and I think they're just so cute. They share those same snow kind of cross stitch lids as the other candles that are a partner to this collection. This scent is peppermint brownie and the notes are crushed candy canes, rich mocha, and whipped cream. There was a lot of talk about this candle. Was it a repackage of peppermint marshmallow? Is it a brand new scent? I would have to say that I don't think that this is the exact same 
as any of our other sort of chocolate peppermint candles that we have out. It's probably most similar to the mint chocolate candle, but instead of a dark chocolate like the mint chocolate candle has, this definitely has like a milk chocolate, definitely that brownie batter. So the chocolates are different. I think the peppermints are the same, which is maybe throwing people off and making them think they're the same candles, but the chocolate notes are what is different in my opinion. So this definitely has that sharp peppermint oils, but the chocolate in this to me is a brownie batter. If you like peppermint and chocolate, you're gonna love this one, of course. It's really nice to have something different. I'm really looking forward to burning this one and seeing how the differences come out when it's warm. Because a lot of times when you actually burn a candle, that's when you really can start seeing the differences between the between different scents. The next one in this collection is Crushed Candy Cane. Oh my gosh, again, I'm sorry. I'm just going on and on about the labels, but I can't help but they're adorable. Look at that. I mean, just the detail, like in the little, you can even see like each individual little like cross stitch or like knitted kind of look to it. I love it so much. The labels are adorable. Crushed Candy Cane is crunchy peppermint and white sugar crystals. Sweet and to the point, I guess. Again, this one was another one where a lot of people were saying, oh, this just smells like twisted peppermint. This is peppermint marshmallow. I don't think so. This is a new scent in my opinion. And it legitimately smells like a candy cane. You definitely get that sort of sinus opening peppermint, but you also get this candied sweetness in this one. It's not a marshmallow sweetness. It's not marshmallow vanilla. It's definitely a candied sweetness. So you get an authentic candy cane note. If you've ever used candy cane to like bake and you have crushed it up and you smelled that, that's legitimately what this candle smells like. There is this sort of crunchy vibe to this one that really just makes me feel like they've taken candy canes, they've crushed them up and they put them in this candle. The next one in this collection is Mary Cookie. Again, super cute label. Love it. Merry Cookie, of course. It's a returning classic. The notes are fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. Buttery vanilla sugar cookie perfection. It smells like a buttery shortbread kind of cookie. Fabulous and one that I'm always happy to see return. The next one I have in that collection is Gooey Marshmallow. The notes of Gooey Marshmallow are torch marshmallows, brown sugar, and caramel drizzle. To me, this is a new scent. At first, I thought it might be Honey Vanilla from, I think, a couple years ago, and I, but I smelled them side by side and it's not that scent. This one smells like a marshmallow. If you were to take Marshmallow Fireside and completely take away the fireside aspect of that and just leave the marshmallow, that's what this one smells like. It also smells like the Yankee Candle scent, Campfire Marshmallow. It does smell like a toasted marshmallow. Like if you put a big marshmallow on a stick and you've toasted it on a campfire and just the marshmallow itself, or you have a little bit of that browning of the marshmallow, that's what this one smells like. There is a little bit of something in there that's sort of honeyed or caramel. Like they almost took just a smidgen of that honey vanilla candle and maybe put it in this to kind of sweeten it up just a little bit. For me, it isn't personally groundbreaking because I do melt like vendor wax and we get a lot of marshmallow scent. So if you're into vendor wax and you know what those marshmallow scents smell like, then you smell this before essentially. But I think it's exciting to have this in candle form and I'm looking forward to seeing how strong this might be. And the last one I have in that collection is Toffee Brittle. Toffee Brittle is maple cream, brown butter, and coconut sugar. I was really excited for this one because I love toffee and I was hoping they would have like this kind of crunchy toffee. It's not. To me, this is a repackage of the toasted coconut candle from last year, I think. It doesn't smell like toffee to me. It doesn't smell like peanut brittle. It smells like you have taken sweetened coconut, you put it in the oven, and you toasted it. That is really nice, but it's not what I thought it would smell like. So I'm a little disappointed in this one just because I feel like the name is super misleading. I think, why didn't they just bring it out and call it co Toasted Coconut again? Maybe they thought Toffee Brittle would sell better for the winter months. If you like Toasted Coconut, here you go. It's back in my opinion. And if you just like that sweet and toasted coconut kind of scent and it's not super caramelly or overly sweet, then I think you'd really like this one. The next collection I have to share with you is this one right here. This has wraparound labels and it's sort of like a painted scene. It's really, really nice. These have snowflake lids. This, of course, is winter, which I've already talked about, a classic scent. And the next one I have in that collection is Yuletide. Again, I just want to show you the label. This also has a 3D effect. There's like glittery white here. And I love this 3D look to these. I think they are so well done and so, so cute. Just again, the labels this year, oh, amazing. The notes of Yuletide say, made with rosemary and pine essential oils with notes of eucalyptus and cedar. I was excited about this one at first because I was hoping it was a return of like peppermint rosemary from last year. Alas, it is not. Essentially to me, this this smells like the fresh balsam candle or maybe even the vanilla balsam candle. And then if you added 
rosemary, and a little bit of eucalyptus to it. So the rosemary adds this really nice aromatic herbalness to it, and then the eucalyptus kind of adds a little bit of an astringency. There's also something in this that kind of reminds me of liquid smoke. It's not super dominant, but it's definitely there to me. So I guess it's sort of a smoky vibe, but to me it smells like that liquid smoke has been added to this as well. This is a scent that I smell and I kind of like it and then I kind of don't like it. It is very dry and somewhat astringent. I do think it smells like winter or sort of being in like a logging community or something and you've got like people who are doing wood burning, burning fireplaces and you've got the snow on the ground and it does sort of evoke those images. So this one is interesting. I like it. I'm not in love with it but I think if you like your woodsy notes, if you like those kind of scents, if you like a little bit of a smokiness, I think you really like this one. So the next collection I had to share with you is this Woodland Collection, sort of camping, outdoorsy vibe collection. The woods on these are these sort of minimalist mountain and trees lids, which are cute. The first thing I have here is Campsite Coffee. The notes say, made with cedar wood and orange essential oils with notes of coffee, vanilla, ice cream, and fresh baked donuts. I'm, I giggle because I think they're funny with the whole essential oils things on a candle like this. Um, this is Paris Cafe repackaged. I think it's a really nice scent. Definitely smells like coffee. You get a little bit of that bakery note. It's a really nice scent. I'm not sure where the orange and cedar wood essential oils come in, but it does smell like coffee at a cafe and if you like Paris Cafe then you have it back again this year. The next scent I picked up in this collection is Marshmallow Fireside, another classic Bath & Body Works scent. Marshmallow Fireside says made with cedar wood and Palo Santo essential oils with notes of toasted marshmallow and vanilla. This marshmallow Fireside of course is lots of that gooey toasted marshmallow mixed with the Fireside note. You definitely pick up the smokiness in the Fireside but it is balanced perfectly with that marshmallow. Again a classic scent, great for cold weather. Love it. The next thing I have to share with you is toasted vanilla chai. I think this label is cute. The notes are made with ginger and nutmeg essential oils with notes of cinnamon and clove. So I, I thought maybe it was going to be similar to the white pumpkin candle we saw in fall, but it's not. It does smell like the hand soap. If you've tried the toasted vanilla chai hand soap, it smells very, very similar to that. It is amazing how closely they were able to get that hand soap to the candle. You get all of those wonderful chai spices, the cardamom, the nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon, the ginger, and then you get a lot of like a vanilla a latte. So it really it does smell like a chai tea latte except you don't really get the tea note. You just get a lot of creaminess from that vanilla mixed with those chai spices. So if you like chai scents, if you like vanilla and a little bit of a spicy vanilla kind of scent, I think you'd really like this one. The next one I have in this collection is Apple Garland. I love this label. I love the little cardinal. The cardinals are the state bird for North Carolina and we have a lot of them around here and I just think this label is adorable. Apple Garland reads made with eucalyptus and cedar wood essential oils with notes of gala apples and mistletoe. This scent is amazing. A lot of people were saying this just smells like autumn. While I can I can see the similarities, I can see why people might think that. Really when you sniff them side by side they are not the same and I have burned this one and I can also confirm that when you burn it it is not the same as autumn. They do have similarities. They both have the apple. They both have the eucalyptus. But there's a warmth and sweetness in this one. Sort of like an apple wood that you don't get in autumn. There's also no fig in this scent. When you burn this one, that eucalyptus is much more in the background. It's not as astringent as autumn is. It really comes across as this sweet apple and pine scent. Which I actually really, really enjoy. It also was really, really, really strong. So a little bit of a review while I'm giving you my haul as well on this one. I really like this one. We'll definitely be picking up another one. It was wonderful. If you like an apple and pine scent and you like that really nice sweetness and you you do like autumn but maybe you feel like that one's a bit too astringent for you then try apple garland because it is fantastic. And then I picked up two Blue Winter Sky in this collection. Blue Winter Sky reads, made with peppermint and eucalyptus essential oils with notes of oak and cedar wood. This one was very intriguing because I think a lot of us were hoping it was going to be winter mint and spruce or even peppermint rosemary, but it's definitely not any of those. It does smell very similar to beech, sage, and mint, which came out as a spring and summer scent like two years ago. It is very, very similar to Beach Sage and Mint. And I think that the only difference is that the mints are different. Beach Sage and Mint had more of a like spearmint, sort of fresh mint from your garden. Whereas this definitely has that cooling peppermint instead of that sort of fresh mint. To me, it doesn't register as a winter scent. It definitely registers more spring and summer. But nevertheless, I'm really glad to have that back because I really love Beach Sage and Mint. It was really a wonderful scent. And so I'm really happy to have something super similar like this. So the next 
collection I'll talk to you about are the White Barn Core candles. The first thing I have in that collection is Berry Spritzer. I love this purple, like dark, dark purpley, almost purple brown jar they have it in. The notes of Berry Spritzer are pear, cherry blossoms, and peach nectar. This smells exactly like Victoria's Secret's Love Spell. That was like a signature scent for me in college. I worked for several years. So whenever I smell that scent, it instantly transports me back to college. Why they didn't bring it out as Love Spell, I'm not sure. I mean, they own Victoria's Secret, so they could have bought it out as that. But if you used to wear Love Spell, or if you still do, this is, a, this is that scent in candle form. It's actually really nice, and I'm glad to see it. I think it's high time that they did this. I also picked up the Crushed Candy Cane in the White Barn Core Package and it's really, really pale pink. I've talked about this in already. It smells like an authentic candy cane. I also picked up Tis the Season in the White Barn Core Collection. Again, Christmas in a jar. The next one I picked up is this Vanilla Balsam Candle. This came out a couple of years ago, so I'm really glad to see this one back. It is Balsam Fur, Frosted Vanilla, Snow Cat Pine Needles. I really, really like this one. Fresh Balsam over the years has become a bit too like intense and astringent for me. So adding the vanilla to it, perfect. It just takes away some of that sharp edge of the balsam and I really, really love it. So take Fresh Balsam, add vanilla to it. That's what you get here. It's really nice. Also in the White Bond Core, they have these sort of holographic labels that they brought out this year, which I think are really pretty. This one is Ice Cran Apple. This is Fresh Apple, Frosted Cranberries, Sugared Raspberry, and Creamy Musk. This one really, to me, is a combination of a couple of candles. Frosted Cranberry and Farm Stand Apple. So you take that sweet, juicy Mac Apple from Farm Stand Apple, and then you mix it with that Frosted Cranberry. Sweet Cranberry, tiny bit of a tartness, and that really is essentially what I get from Ice Cran Apple. This one is nice, especially if you like your fruity scents this type of year. I think you'd like this one. The other holographic candle that I picked up is Snowfall. I love this sort of blue and purple look that this one has. Snowfall reads, Cool Pine needles, golden amber, and fresh lavender. This one was intriguing because anytime something says lavender, typically it is most often a cologne scent, unless it's actually a real lavender candle. So this one surprised me in a good way that I don't feel like it is a cologne scent. It definitely smells super, super familiar. I feel like it smells like one of those element candles they came out with last year. I think it was maybe spruce. This one is definitely a woodsy scent without being a cologne, but it also has a nice amount of herbalness to it and like this sort of sappy resinous vibe not necessarily if like from a christmas tree but i guess if you were like out walking in nature and you touched a pine tree and you happen to get some sap on your hands that's sort of what it reminds me of i don't know that this is a new scent because I, again it smells so familiar it just or it just could be the fact that it smells like so many other scents combined i'm not an expert on like the woodsy type scents but if you like a nice pine scent and an herbal pine scent there's a tiny bit of something sweet here. I think that you'd really, really like this one. The next one I have here is Wine Cellar, y'all. I am so excited that this scent is back, and I love that the, the jar they put this in, this beautiful dark purple and this sort of geometric pattern on this. Wine Cellar, of course, is a returning scent. This is mold apples, fresh fig, and cedar wood. Those notes are pretty much bollocks. This is Wine Cellar. This is my beloved scent. This is a scent that I stocked up on several years ago because I had missed out on stocking up on it the year before. It's been out several years. I absolutely love it. Sophisticated patchouli, pepper and exotic spice, red currant berries, a little bit of pomegranate, and like a dark vanilla. Just really an overall sophisticated and sensual blend. I feel like a lot of people kind of either love it or hate it. I'm definitely in the love category. It's just one that when I first smelled it in the store years ago, I actually didn't love it on cold sniff, but I took it home and burned it and then I just fell in love with it. It's just perfect. It comes alive burning. If you are looking for something different, sophisticated, exotic, and sensual, definitely give this one a try. I love it. It's one of my probably top five candles of all time. And the last White Barn Korg one I have is Gingerbread and Caramel. Again, I really like these labels. The notes of Gingerbread and Caramel are Gooey Caramel, Warm Vanilla Cream, and Gingerbread Spices. And that is really what it smells like, Gingerbread and Caramel. I'm really, one, happy that they have brought an, more than just one gingerbread scent this year. I'm not normally a fan of caramel because it tend to be too cloying, too sweet for me. But this works, at least on Cold Sniff. There is a lot of that caramel, that sort of standard caramel from Bath & Body Works. Think of their salted caramel, like the caramel that you 
would find in cinnamon caramel swirl. Instead of cinnamon and clove, it's more like ginger and nutmeg. And there is a nice amount of vanilla in this one, which really seems to be, for me, kind of dialing back some of that sweetness on the caramel. So it's almost like you took a gingerbread cookie, like a thick, puffy cake type cookie, and then you maybe coated it in caramel. That's what I'm getting on cold sniff. So I'm looking forward to burning this one. I'm hoping it's not too sweet. If you like your bakery and gourmand type scents, I think you'd like this one, especially if you like caramel. But I think even if you didn't love caramel, I think you might still like this one. The last collection I have to share with you is this collection here with all the like sort of modern, sort of geometric kind of shapes of Christmas. I think it's really cute. I love the labels on these. I love how labels all sort of match what this candle actually smells like. Like for example, this one has like what looks like potentially little cranberries. I just think they're so cute. I love the colors and how the colors kind of match what the scent smells like. I think that all all those little details just make this collection come together beautifully. These have this sort of geometric pattern lid on them. So this scent of course is Frosted Cranberry. It is Iced Cranberries, Blonde Woods, Red Apple, and Tonka Bean. It is another sort of classic scent in my opinion. Tart and Sweet Cranberry. Not spicy, just to me a classic winter scent from Bath and Body Works that I do like to try to pick up and burn every year. I also picked up the Twisted Peppermint in this packaging. Again, look at that. Like I love the fact they use the candy candy canes and they have like the candy around it. It's just perfect and this really pretty pink wax. Absolutely love these labels. Twisted Peppermint is Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, Vanilla Buttercream, Fresh Balsam, and a Hint of Musk. Love this scent. Of course, it is also a body care scent. It's a classic Bath & Body Works scent. You get that mentholated sinus opening peppermint and just a bit of that vanilla sweetness. It's one that I love to burn in January especially and it is a classic. I also picked up Winter Candy Apple in this packaging. I love the little apples here. Winter Candy Apple is candied apples, crisp pears, and oranges. Of course, this is another classic scent. It's also a body care scent. A lot of people don't love this scent anymore, but for me, this definitely takes me back to like middle school when I used to wear Winter Candy Apple every single winter and Christmas through middle school and probably even through high school. So it's just a very nostalgic scent for me. A very sweet, candied kind of apple note. I love it. It just brings back a lot of memories. So I, I do try to burn one every year. I picked up another tis the season can you ever have too many well probably but i don't think so because i just thought this packaging was also adorable and i do feel like it just encompasses what the scent evokes as far as the memories and the ornaments and things like that i love the little baubles on these i've already talked about the scent christmas in a jar perfection i picked up vanilla bean noel in this i'm just going to show you the label super cute. Vanilla Bean Noel is vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla cake. Also a body care scent. This really yummy, sweet, creamy vanilla. It's also a, very, a classic. I tend to never have great luck when I burn the Vanilla Bean Noel. It's never very strong, but I always pick it up anyway just to see if I might have better luck this year because the scent is just so yummy and edible. I also have two of the Popcorn and Pine Candle. Now this actually was um, two that I picked up from the test store or my friend picked up for me from the test store and I'm really glad that I have two because this one did not pass test as I suspected it probably wouldn't. Super cute label. Popcorn and pine is fresh popcorn kernels, warm butter, and white pine. And what an odd combination, right? Who would think to put popcorn and pine together? But I'm telling you, on cold sniff, something about this really works for me. I'm not a huge fan of the astringent pine scents anyway. They're just too harsh for me. But I actually really like it. So I guess I'm one of the weird ones that think this smells nice. I think that that butter and the popcorn balance out that pine and take away some of that astringency. So yeah, I'm actually really excited to burn this one. Now I'm also applaud Bath & Body Works for doing something just completely out of the box and different. The next one I have is Sugared Snickerdoodle. Really cute label. I love the contrast of the brown and the white. The notes are warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. This one is okay. It does smell like a snickerdoodle, like a cinnamon sugared cookie. It doesn't have the butter, the butteriness of Mary cookie, but it does smell like a cookie. You know, it vaguely reminds me of like cinnamon sugar donut. I said, of course, it doesn't have the donut, but if you took that kind of cinnamon sugar note from that candle and you add it to a cookie instead, you'd have this one. I think that if you like your bakery notes, especially if you like your bakery cinnamon kind of scents, I think that you'd really like this one. I have Spice Gingerbread Swirl. I love this label. Look at the cute little gingerbread man. Oh, so adorable. The notes of Spice Gingerbread Swirl are ginger snap cookie, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So this does not smell like gingerbread. It actually smells like a body care scent. This Spice Gingerbread Swirl is a body care scent out now. So if you love that scent, then that is that scent in candle form. This one was a little disappointing for me because I was really hoping for a different gingerbread scent. So we'd actually have three this year. But this smells like 
body care and so vaguely reminiscent of like a body care kind of gingerbread thing so but if you love the body care then of course you're gonna love this scent. so this is part two of my candle day haul i'm going to show you the collections that were released specifically for candle day as well as i grabbed a couple of duplicates and some random finds that i picked up i picked up a love rose and vanilla aromatherapy candle the notes say rose oil feelings of connection and self-confidence and vanilla extract encourages relaxation so this scent does match the body care rose and vanilla if you love rose you would absolutely love this one i'm not a huge fan of rose although i do appreciate it from time to time i did purchase this for my grandmother to take back home to her condo she stays here half of her time and she stays with my aunt half of the time she loves this scent so i'm going to give this to her as a christmas present and i thought she would really like it i picked up mint chocolate now this packaging actually came out two years ago the day after candle day and i did an entire video on this entire collection so i'll leave the link to that video below in case you're interested in hearing my thoughts from two years ago the notes on mint chocolate are sweet peppermint creamy vanilla bean decadent chocolate and homemade marshmallow this is a dark dark chocolate and mint scent. A lot of people say this smells like mint chocolate ice cream. I don't really think so. To me, when I think of ice cream, I think of a nice creaminess. You're going to get a creamy vanilla base. And I don't really feel like this has that personally. A lot of people have asked me on Instagram, what is the difference between this and peppermint brownie? And the main difference for me is that the chocolate in mint chocolate is a very dark chocolate. There's almost like a bitterness to it, especially when you're burning it. So think of this as a very dark chocolate mixed with the mint. Whereas like peppermint brownie, the chocolate note in that is a very milk chocolatey chocolate chocolate bakery kind of chocolate. So the chocolates are different. They are not the same scent. Both are good in their own way. I picked up two Merry Mistletoes. I absolutely love this scent. The notes are frozen cranberries, sparkling pear, icy peppermint, and balsam branches. This is one of my favorite candles of all time to burn at Christmas. Right behind his the season. I'm not a fan of sort of just straight pine and woods notes like balsam. They tend to be a bit too astringent for me. So that's what I love about this. The fruit in this blends perfectly with the balsam and adds this sort of juicy vibe to it. That for me is just perfection. If you've never tried this scent and you're, you're not a fan of typically like a fresh balsam, you feel like that's a bit too astringent, give this one a try because it is fantastic. I also picked up a cranberry pear bellini. I love the labeling of this entire collection. I think it's just very elegant looking. The notes of cranberry pear bellini are fizzy pear nectar, sparkling red cranberries, lush apricot, and tart black currant. I actually prefer this scent over peach bellini. Basically, they're very similar scents. I would call them sisters, except replace the peach and add a tart cranberry and a sweet pear. So the fruit in this isn't as sweet and juicy as peach bellini. This has more of a tartness which I personally prefer and really love. For me this is the perfect scent to burn for New Year's or the first week of January. The next candle day scent that I picked up is Fresh Bamboo. This is since 2008. This is a classic Bath and Body Works scent. This is originally launched in 2008. A Bath and Body Works favorite blend of sweet bamboo, lush jasmine, and wild grasses. If you like your green scents you're going to love this one. It does have a bit of floral notes as well but the green notes are the dominant notes in my opinion followed by just a bit of the jasmine and the sort of floral undertones as someone who's not a huge fan of floral this is one that i do enjoy because i like my green scents this one has come back several times over the years. It's not one that they sort of have hidden away in the vault and never returned. It is quite a popular scent. So again, if you like your green scents, this is a good one for spring. The next one I picked up from Candle Day is Gelato. I really like the label on this. It looks very like festive and fun. It says since 2013. The notes say originally launched in 2013, enjoying Bath and Body Works favorite blend of vanilla ice cream, lemon candy with notes of strawberry and raspberry puree. This one is really nice scent on cold sniff. It does not smell like raspberry peach macaron, which several people had said it did at some point. And I didn't remember that they smelled the same, but it's nice for me to confirm that that is not. This, it does not smell like raspberry peach macaron. This smells like if you took the lemon drop candle from Bath and Body Works, that sweet candied lemon, and you added tart raspberry puree and added a bit of like a creamy strawberry ice cream, that's what this smells like. Fruity, sweet, but also tart. 
I would say less creaminess. There's a hint of something creamy in the background, but it's not dominant. It really comes across as a sort of tart, fruity, sweet, candied scent more than an ice cream or an actual gelato. If you like your fruity scents, if you like a bit of a sweetened, tart fruit scent, I think you'd really like this one. The next one I have here is French Baguette. I really like the label on this one as well. This one was established in 2012. French Baguette says, originally launched in 2012, enjoy a Bath & Body Works favorite blend of slow rising dough, crispy crust, and fresh out of the oven aroma. This legitimately smells like bread. Fresh, baked, yeasty bread. It's like you can't almost get the crusty note. It doesn't smell like a soft loaf of white bread. It definitely has this sort of crusty aspect. If you also buy vendor wax, this is a scent that we do have in wax. So for me, I'm not over the moon excited about this specific scent because I can get it in other forms. But it's a very authentic bread. There is also a bit of a saltiness as well. So it is almost like a salted yeast roll. It's not so much butter, like I don't really get butter, but it does smell like a fresh from the oven salted yeast roll or French baguette. If, you're if you've been looking for a very authentic bread scent, this is it. The next one I picked up is Boathouse Row. This one is established 2013. The notes I say originally launched in 2013. This is a blend of green sage and fresh pomegranate with notes of bay leaves and moss. I wasn't originally going to pick this up because I am not a fan of cologne scents and to me this smells like a masculine cologne scent. Although I don't think that a candle has to be masculine or feminine but that's how it registers to my nose. So if you like your cologne scents then this is one that you probably would enjoy. I don't know the difference between all the different cologne so I'm not going to attempt to try to give you distinguishments between them all. I am probably going to give this to my son as a present because he does love these types of scents and I know that this one was really special for like the bronze blogger specifically and he was really excited to have it back. So if you like your cologne scents it smells like this would be a good one. I picked up a cinnamon pine cone. This one reads fresh pine, cinnamon bark, cedar, and juniper. This came out last year as the cinnamon essential oils candle. It also smells similar to the Eden Hearth candle that came out in the fall. The cinnamon isn't a spicy cinnamon. It is a warm, almost clove-like cinnamon. It smells more like a cinnamon stick. It doesn't smell like a red hot candy. It is a warm, cozy type of cinnamon. And then it's mixed very nicely with the woods notes, the pine and the juniper. If you were hoping the cinnamon candle came back. Here it is. I picked up another orange chocolate truffle. It smells like a Terry's chocolate orange. That blend of chocolate and orange is perfection. I picked up another spiced gingerbread just because I really do like this scent and I love the label on this one. I picked up a vanilla balsam. I meant to put this one in my tower instead of the other popcorn and pine. Um, vanilla balsam is, I've already talked about this scent in the first portion and they did put it in the popcorn and pine label since that scent did not pass test. I picked up another vanilla snowflake mainly because of the label but it's also a really nice scent. I picked up another butter rum eggnog. Again, mostly for the label. The scent is also nice. And some of the random finds, I did pick up the French lavender in this packaging that came out in the fall. I had never picked this up when it came out originally and I do tend to collect lavender scents from Bath & Body Works. I try not to collect everything because I already have way too many candles so I sort of had to narrow down like okay which are the scents that I really do sort of want to collect versus maybe attempt to try to burn at some point. And lavender is one so I have a lot of different labels of lavender candles and I thought this one was particularly pretty with the rose gold accents. I picked up the pomegranate candle. Again this one came out in the fall and I never picked it up. This came out last year as pomegranate and then the year before it came out as a scent that had failed tests and they had a different name which completely escapes me at the moment so I apologize. The notes are pomegranate, vanilla sugar, bergamot leaves, and grapefruit zest. This one is a really nice tart red fruity scent. You get the pomegranate, I get red currant. Almost sort of what I would think of as like as a rhubarb where you get that sort of tart red fruit note. It's really enjoyable. Not one that I feel the need to hoard but I'm glad that I was able to pick this one up. I also picked up a, another caramel apple. I did finish the one that I picked up in the fall and I did really enjoy it. So I did want to have one more to carry over for next year in case the scent doesn't come back. I picked up another apple garland. So I've already finished one apple garland and now I have two back up to carry over to next year. As I've already mentioned, this one is a really nice apple and pine scent. Somewhat simplistic, but I really enjoyed it. I was happy to find another cannoli and chocolate Italy scent. This came out for the summer semi-annual sale and I had picked up one and finished it and I didn't have any backup. So I was happy to find one more to have and burn. This one is a nice chocolate creamy bakery scent. 
And lastly, I picked up one more summer terrace. If y'all watch my videos in the summer, you know that I fell in love with this scent. I have a couple of backups, but it's just one of those that I felt like I needed to have several backups because it might not be one that comes back. This scent will be in my top scents of 2018. This one's very watery, crisp, and fresh, and it was also super strong and had a great burn. It was fantastic, so happy to have another one of these. Okie dokie, that is it. That is my entire candle day Bath and Body Works haul. I don't think I mentioned, but not every single one of these candles were purchased on candle day especially the ones from the tower i did include in that tower the candles that i had purchased at a test store previously and a couple of other random purchases i had picked up before candle day and overall i am just thrilled to pieces with the collections they brought out this year i'm just so happy let me know in the comments below if you agree don't you think that bath and body works has done such an amazing job this year to redeem themselves from last year's quotable catastrophe let me know also what you picked up for candle day i always love to hear from you maybe let me know what your favorite candle from candle day was did you pick up any of the candles that they brought back specifically for candle day if so let me know your favorites if you sat through this entire video and watched both parts leave me a blue heart below because i'm always curious to see who actually watched the entire video i feel like adding a simple heart is something easy for you all to do and i get to hear from you and maybe chat with you a little bit if you like this video or found it helpful please give it a thumbs up if you like to see other videos like this please subscribe i do do a massive seasonal bath and body works candle haul i do other candle hauls as well as vendor wax and a monthly details empties video so if you haven't subscribed already please do so thank you so much for all of your support i greatly appreciate all the kind comments the likes and all of your support i hope you all have a great rest of your day bye